Welcome to Echo Catcher Tarot. Hello Gemini, this is going to be a reading about how your person feels about you. I'm trying to switch it up a little. So please remember there's no way this can connect to everybody. I read the cards and you decide if and how they apply to your situation. Thank you for all the support on the channel. I appreciate it so much. And welcome cross watchers. And feel free to vice versa, masculine feminine energy. So the tarot cards go over here which are more one answer cards. And the more explanatory tarot cards go over here. So the first one is denial. I acknowledge my fear, but I replace it with the insight of awareness. So I feel like your person feels like you have denial. They feel like you're denying something. And they feel like it's some sort of fear. That you have fear about something and you're denying it. So the next one is forgiveness. I acknowledge that... Harboring resentment blocks the flow of love. So they also feel like you have unforgiveness inside you that is spiraling, sometimes out of control. I feel like you react because of things you haven't forgiven people for, yourself for, and that causes conflict. So maybe the denial is about you not forgiving yourself or other people for something. So then we have service. I feel good when I can help others. So they see that you feel really good when you're around other people. When you help people, that's when they see you shine. That's when they see your happiness come out of you. So now I'm going to switch to the Mystical Cats tarot deck. So the first one is the tower. So they see that something has fallen apart with you. They see that something crashed. Um, that something you had fall apart because it was either time to fall apart or you caused it to fall apart. But they see, this almost could be self-sabotage. They could see you that you self-sabotage yourself. So Earth Kitten. They do see that you have the wherewithal when in you to start new things that you start off really good I feel you get these ideas and you're like oh I'm gonna go do this and this is gonna be good and for Earth, they see you as selfish they see you taking a lot and not giving so much as you take so they see that you take more than you give Ace of Fire. Ace of Fire could be anger or being around people that aren't for your highest good. So, warning. So, I do feel like they see you as being anger or they see you as not listening to people that aren't for your highest good. So, it seems like you may go around people that aren't good for you is what I feel. So, six of verse says they see you as very generous. They see you nurturing to them and others. They see that you can be very kind, which would go with the service. Two of sky. They feel like you have a decision to make, that you are either always contemplating going a different direction, or you can't make up your mind about something. And they almost feel like you're being drawn to something very far in the past, that that you still hang on to or linger on to is what I'm feeling. So eight of C, we have the selfishness again and they're going right in front of each other. So they see you as wanting everything perfect. You want the name brand that you want. You're very selfish is what they see in you. So two of fire, you have a lot of two. So you have the two of sky and now you have the two of fire. So the, they see you as contemplating, thinking a lot, not communicating your feelings, and they're afraid you're going to leave. And this is them feeling like you look on the past a lot. You reflect on past relationships and past life a lot. So Three of Sky says that they see you are either around mischievous friends or you are have a third party involved in this situation. Seven of C, denial. So you have denial twice. So they think you're in denial that they know about a third party. They think you're in denial that you want a third party. There's a lot. Denials came up twice in this. So three of Earth says this could be a coworker, so somebody you worked with. 
They think you're focused with other people on somebody at work. So Sea Kitten says that they see you as in and out. Sometimes you're in, sometimes you're out. You go in and out. You go black, back and forth, you flip it a lot for them and your emotions. And that's hard for them. So now I'm going to switch to the Illuminati deck. So you have justice. So they want things to balance out. They see that you can balance the situation out, but it's up to you. Pentacles, they see you as happiness. They see you as abundance, as moving forward. They just want it to be balanced. So King of Cups. King of Cups is love. They see you as loving, but they also see you as plotting. Like It's almost like you trade to love for something. You'll give love, but you need to get something for love. It's almost like you won't give the love without receiving something first. Three of Wands. This would be the third party situation again. They see you as having three different people becoming involved in. And that would go with the plotting. That they love you, but you have a third party. Or you love them, but you have a third party. Or you're plotting with the other person. So Prince of Swords is them wanting you to communicate. They want you to communicate with them. They want you to be honest. They feel like you're spying on them or spying on other people. You're looking at people's social media. Four of Cups, they see you as blocked off with your heart and your coins. That they offer you love and you're busy looking at a relationship in the past. Which would be the denial and the forgiveness. That you're closed off to them. So Ace of Cups, they see that you have love. They see you as abundance. Or maybe they feel that you're crying on love from the past is what that could represent. That you are stuck in the past and you cry on this past love person. So Five of Pentacles means that you ghosted them or you were stuck on somebody who ghosted you possibly is what that could mean. So Prince of Cups. So Prince of Cups, Princess of Cups is they see you um, offering love to somebody. They see you as being very loving when you want to be, but it almost seems like an immature love. It's not mature. Ten of Cups, again, they see you as Ten of Cups. They see you as happiness, having a family, marrying you. The Sun, they see you as the Sun. This could be Leo Placement Gemini. They see you as happiness. And the Devil, wow, this is really hardcore. So you have the Devil and the Sun. So happiness and sadness, toxic energy and abundance. So they see that you have the power over them to make this relationship fail or succeed and that's pretty powerful to say that they see that so they do see that almost that you have toxic energies in you that you could bring out any time so you you can make the relationship you're in Gemini go whatever way you want it to so pay attention because you don't want to be looking at the past and miss an opportunity that is here in front of your face now that could be very successful so the Oracle of E-Card is hotline. So the universe is trying to guide you. They are trying to give you signs on what way to go for your highest good. Everything is beautiful. This is change, five. So you see how the cards look alike? The universe is trying really, really hard to get you to go towards beauty and to change. So, wow. And then the next one is open your presence. You went 12, 32, 33. 33 is a master number. Something is going to come full circle that could make you happy. You could go towards beauty if you just pay attention and let your instincts in the universe guide you to your highest good. And try and get out of the denial and the forgiveness situation you may seem stuck in. So the first one is dancing in the rainbow. They see you as happiness. This is the... Dolphin, obviously, break free from whatever you feel is holding you back. Express happiness. Find out what you truly desire. So they see that you have the ability to make yourself happy and them happy, but you're stuck in some situation that you're holding yourself back on. And you're up out of the water. So I feel like if you can deal with whatever emotions are here, you can be move beyond that and be successful and happy. 
And the next one is 28, which would be 10, seeing both sides. Take a deep breath. Take a step back and try looking at this from a different perspective. So this is a hammerhead shark that can see 360 degrees around them. So I do feel like if you don't look at the way your person is feeling and try and feel what they're feeling, then it's going to end. That they, they can't be confused and watch you be in denial and unforgiveness and not move forward. But you have abundance and happiness if you choose to go that way. So they feel like you're not seeing both sides and that you're not dancing in the rainbow because you are self-sabotaging is what I feel. So the first one is sun. Enjoy success and happiness. You've had it twice, Gemini. This is really prominent, very powerful. So you have the power to make yourself happy and move towards happiness. This is the best card in the whole deck. You had it twice. Traveler, move in a new direction. So you had five up here, which is change. Everything is beautiful. So if you choose to move in the direction, I see the mariner symbol there, which makes me think of boating, ocean. I see the, the map where you can go anywhere you want. So I do feel like you have success if you move in a new direction and your person may be trying to get you to move in a new direction, but you've been not doing that. You've been stalling out. So some, they see you as holding back for some reason and they see it as you not forgiving a past relationship or something and that you're in denial. So I hope this helps, Gemini. Thank you so much for coming to Echo Catcher Tarot. Bless you, Gemini.